In this video, we will demonstrate the new SAP functionality to enter a cost center plan at cost element level. As you can see, we are using the NetWeaver business client for this. In this new front end for SAP, the choice of transactions available to you is determined by the user roles assigned to you. In this example, we are granted a number of controlling roles, and in order to demonstrate the cost center planning, we choose one of them. The selection screen for the new planning tool looks similar to the ones you might already know from SAP Business Warehouse. To restrict the selection to the cost centers and cost elements, we would like to enter a plan for we have a number of so-called characteristics to choose from. For example, the version, reference version, fiscal year, posting period, and so on. For each of the characteristics, we then choose an operator to relate to the characteristics values. For example, we can select the operator is for the version and then enter the exact value for the version we would like to select. For the posting period, we choose the operator is between and can then enter an interval. To speed up our selection, we select a variant we created before. This variant contains all the parameters we would like to use in this example. To save a variant, enter a name and then press the Save button. Now that we have entered all the desired parameters, we press the Execute button to start planning. The cost centers and cost elements we chose in the selection screen are now organized in a hierarchy called Planning Structure. We can expand the structure to get to the individual cost centers and cost elements we would like to plan. As you can see, this planning layout shows the actual figures of the two previous years to assist you with planning. You can also see the difference between the plan and actual values, and the plan values for the last year. Finally, you can see a column which is ready for input. This is where we will maintain our plan. Let's assume you are in the middle of your yearly planning round. As a starting point, you want to use the planning values from the last year. To do this, you press Copy from Reference Fiscal Year and Version. Then enter the fiscal year to copy from, in this case 2011. Check that the Reference Version 0 is correct and press OK. You can see that the plan data from 2011 has now been copied into your planning column. Now let's assume that your boss told you to cut your budget by 10% compared to last year. To do this, you use the Revaluate button. Enter a revaluation percentage factor of minus 10 and press OK. Your plan values are now reduced by 10% each. Next, you're told to restructure your workforce by cutting direct labor costs in favor of indirect labor costs, which will also result in an increase of other wage-related expenses. As you can see, changing the plan data for the subnodes will automatically update the top nodes accordingly. After restructuring your workforce, you have a lucky day, and your boss allows you to double your team and hire extra people. All you have to do is adjust the total amount for your labor costs. The system allocates the additional plan amount to the subnodes in proportion to the plan values already existing. If you double the cost for the top node, the values for the subnodes will also double. So far, we have been planning costs on a yearly basis. To maintain the plan values for each individual period, there is an additional tab containing a planning form which allows us to break down the costs by period. As you can see, we are still working in the same planning structure as in the yearly overview, which we expand to the same level we have been working with in the yearly view. This planning form also shows the actual values 2010 and 2011, as well as the plan values of 2011. The column for Plan 2012, version 0, contains the plan data we just entered in the yearly view. As you can see, the yearly figures have been allocated evenly to the individual periods. 
In this planning form, we had the same planning functions at our disposal as in the yearly view. We could copy a reference year or version if we wanted, or do a revaluation. Now let's assume that you would like to take on one extra person, just for January, because you expect extra workload in that period. We increase the direct labor for that month by 5,000 euros. And as you can see, the total value for the entire year automatically increases accordingly. If we go back to the yearly view, the value has updated here as well. You are now ready to save your changes. If it weren't for your boss, who just told you that there has been a major change and you are to do your budget all over from scratch. The button, Discard Changes, will do precisely that.